So from what I remember from my childhood, we were a semi-Christian family. We went to Nazarene Church right by our house. We went kind of every other Sunday. We said grace before dinner, but far as I know, I never really truly knew like Jesus or God, what it truly meant to be a Christian. My parents were married, but we're always together. It was me and my half-blood sister. We all lived in my grandfather's house for the longest time. When my parents finally broke up, it was over. Um, my mom wanted to get married and have some entitlement in the relationship and the house and all that. But my dad either wasn't really ready or just didn't really want that and that really tore the family up a lot. My dad believed that since my mother left and she ruined a happily good family that she did not deserve any part of me. Uh, at the moment of when I was in eighth grade I I believed him with all the anger inside of me that she did not deserve anything to do with me since she ruined a happily good family. So that isolation from my mother roughly stayed for about my eighth grade year to my sophomore year where I would not have any part of her and if there needed anything to be said that my dad would handle it. My best friend Gabe Kaiser, he told me about South Point and he offered it to me and my dad and well, me and my dad were in a place where we kind of needed to go since we both were in a slump and in a dark place. So we were taking up the offer. And me personally, I really, enjoyed my first time going to middle school ministry. It seemed like they actually cared about the students and wanted the best for them, which is what I needed at the time. So when I first went to Big Stuff was that summer and we went down to Daytona Beach and for anyone that doesn't know what Big Stuff is, it's a huge Christian camp. I was nervous but kind of influenced to go and it was huge impact on my life. That's where I learned more and grew closer to Jesus than I ever had, ever. And that's where I finally noticed that the burdens and the struggles of my life can possibly be removed and possibly be gone. I started to realize that I can't hold this burden or hold a grudge against my mom for something that she thought was right for herself. And I realized that my dad can't tell me to not love my mom. So I remember on multiple occasions I would try my very best to try to see my mom or just maybe talk to her and my dad would get so heated and it would just end in a horrible argument. I kept on being persistent, kept on fighting him, asking him just anything to do anything with my mom and he finally like gave in and was like why well, I turned 18 and started being more independent that I could see my mom freely whenever I wanted to no like consequences no chains nothing my senior year 2018 this spring I was baptized for my first time and I made that decision I wanted that to be my first independent adult decision to lead and open up 
my life. I remember of Miss Jen holding me and then dunking me under the water and just a rush of joy and pleasure just coming to me once I reversed from the water. It was an amazing point in my life that I will always remember. Now I can see my mom freely whenever I want and me and my dad are still very close and very happy for each other and he has no problem for me seeing my mom. We both go to church every Sunday and we love each other.